The Honors and Awards program is really a nice way to honor people that have given a lot of service to the profession. I know we all provide service because we love the profession we're in, that we love the association, and we don't always need a pat on the back, but it's nice to get that pat on the, pat on the back and to be recognized for doing the things that you love. It's an award, it's an acknowledgement by your peers just to say we recognize what you do and we value what you do. It's extremely gratifying to be recognized by your peers, uh, probably the highest form of, uh, of a compliment that anyone can get. It's, you know, extra added motiv motivation to keep doing what you're doing. It's really nice to receive that uh, increased visibility for your work. It serves as a good benchmark for, for how things are, are progressing. Um, and it, it, you know, it helps motivate me to, to continue uh, you know, to pursue my research interests. It's also recognizing that we have excellence in our profession. Um, I love what APTA has done with having a press release and having, taking it seriously. By taking it seriously, it makes other people look at it. And if, if it makes other people look at our profession, then it's all worth it. The process of, a, of nominating someone for the award seems really big, just like any other major undertaking, going back for your PhD, getting anything else. And if you look at um, the whole thing, it seems like, oh, there's too much here to do. But if you take it step by step, and, and the steps are on the APTA website, if you just follow the steps and do one step at a time, it, it takes care of itself. I think it's really not that complicated at all. So for the particular award that I nominated someone for, it required three letters of recommendation. And while that can seem somewhat tedious to some, if you're really you know, motivated to help that person receive the award, I think it's an easy job. If you know somebody in your community that is doing something extraordinary for physical therapy, get them involved in the APTA and get them involved in something like an award. People are doing, uh, doing good things every day and, and within physical therapy there's, there's people that are doing well every day at, at what they do. But I think this is at least a, a, a way to uh, formalize uh, that recognition on, on a national stage. So I, I, I think there's value and merit. And we have so many wonderful people in our profession um, and it's important to recognize when a job has been done and done well with quality and moving the profession forward. Being able to be noticed and as well as nominated by somebody takes a lot of energy and effort and to know that someone would go out of their way to do this just makes you think about your body of work and your peers body of work as well and I, I feel like it elevates everybody to a sense of they have to do something outstanding. Nominating people, again, you recognize what valuable members of our profession they are and you want to help elucidate that so that the awards committee can look and say, oh yeah, this person's great, they fit this criteria really well. And, and I think it's, it's, a, it's a real, it's, a, it's an obligation that we should, for, for us and for me it's a joyous one.